Okay, this is my final attempt to make a video on pine tar. I finally got the candle, and I would have had it two weeks ago, but then the shipping, the uh, the order processing at Dr. Squatch gave me two pine tar deodorants instead of a pine tar candle. <clears throat> now, um... They sent me a, this one as an apology, and I would have got it last week on October 8th. But then the mail carrier decided to play Lazy Bones and just decided not to deliver to my apartment because I don't know what the order exactly was. So that's a word of point their advice, people, is that it's not always Dr. Squatch's fault. Um, unless they're running the post office, UPS, or FedEx. Yeah, from now on. Always check your shipping situation. Um, it's been burning for about, oh, give or take 40, 40 minutes now. And uh, it is emitting a good scent. It's like a sweet, warm, soft pine. Now, it's not as immense as the deodorant or the bar of soap. Not yet, at least. But maybe because, you know. But it is out there. I, can, I actually notice it. It smells better. Um... I would have to let it burn longer to make a definite decision, but I wanted to light it up and let you guys know that it does smell good. It does have a hint of pine to it, or more than a hint. Let's just say you don't, you'll notice pine in there. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I like that, you know what I mean? And um, it's not as strong as the Bay Rum here. I still got this little booger, and I'm going to burn it out and then get another one on a good payday. Um, but my, my crown jewel of the candle, like I said, I'm not really a candle person, but, um, this one is still my favorite. I still got to make a, oh, I'll have to be zero center of the wick again. Ah, Dr. Squatch, mail me a free Fresh False Candles now because, ah, I'm a male Karen. My wick is at 12 o'clock middle when it should be dead center. No, wait, wait, wait. It's... Six o'clock, three o'clock, I don't know. Ah, all I know is you owe me a free candle because I'm, I'm entitled Man Karen. And I demand free stuff from you because I'm a total uh, cheapskate. And I don't know how to save money to buy your awesome products. So I have to come up with ways to get free stuff from you. Ah, just kidding. And if I offend a Man Karen who does that, you deserve it. <clears throat> uh... Yeah, that's my number one favorite there so far, personally. Because it is good. It does emit a good, fresh smell. And when it burns. So far, to, the, to this moment, is uh, number two is still Bay Rum. But that could change. You know, and this is an old Bay Rum. You know, I got that free when I bought something. I don't know what it was. That I, it was a combo they were having, and I bought it free. My worst other candles, that I'm sad to bring it up again. Now, this is... This is my candle. I'm not saying all of Dr. Squatch's uh, Alpine Sage candles suck, but this one did. It was terrible. As you can see, I'm just trying to burn it out so I can get it over with, you know. Like when I get home from work, I'll burn it up for several hours before I fall asleep or I'll leave it on when it's asleep. I shouldn't, but, you know, even when it's just sitting here, I... It smells like an old stale alpine sage bar, I guess, or an old alpine or an old bar of soap that's stale that sat in your bathroom for like two years. I never really smelled that, but I'm just going by that, you know. Um, like I said, I'm not judging all the alpine sage batches out there. I'm just saying this particular alpine sage candle <clears throat> failed me, and it has no smell. It's the only thing it does for me is provide a good lamp and. Uh, you know, but like I said, please, if anybody, if anybody out there has the Alpine Sage uh, candle, let me know in the comments if it's actually a good one you got, if it's wrong. And uh, don't get me wrong, Dr. Squatch, if, if others say, yeah, fix it, then I was right. And it's just tough love, Dr. Squatch. You know, you can't win them all. And unfortunately, Alpine Sage is one that you just can't hit the mark you know that's one diagnosis you missed there doctor and i hope you fix it okay i'm being funny there 
But um, yeah, um, I'm not really an Alpine Sage fan. As a matter of fact, I mean, if I had to, if I just went to plain bar soap after all their limited are used up, I just use uh, uh, spearmint, uh, whatever that, that Alpine, no, not Alpine Sage, uh, that spearmint fresh bar soap or whatever it's called. But um, this is still this would be at this moment number three. If I ever, I'm gonna make another video. Depending if I get more subscribers and more likes on all my candles, uh, <clears throat> if this, I'll probably make a ranking video because, like I said, I mean, I don't mind doing this. I'm just doing this because I'm having fun recording. You know, I mean, that's the thing about YouTubers. They're trying to make money or be famous. Me, I'm just doing this because I have nothing else to do before work. And, uh, uh, it's dying on me. No, please don't die. Davey, don't die. Okay, never mind. Uh, I, I I moved it, and what I had on a, uh, my bar counter, the wax kind of swished around the wick, and I think it burned out the wick a lot too early, or I don't know. But um, um, like I said, you won't be disappointed with a pine tar, but if you have these other two right here, maybe you'll have a similar thought to me where it'll be number three out of those three. I mean, a plain candle from your grocery store would be beaten up on sage. I'm sorry to say that, but that mine. Like, if you end up with mine somehow, go right ahead, you know. But um, it just, it's just bland. I mean, all that, uh, and I'm not. That's enough hating on that candle. I already did it in another video. But um, yes. As now for this a candle, like I said, it has a. I hate to repeat myself, but in case you guys didn't listen. It has a warm, sweet, soft pine smell to it. Like it doesn't smell like pine saw filling up my living room. That's the good. That's the good thing I'm trying to say. It's not like you mop your floor with pine saw because there'd be no point to this if all you could do was that. I guess Doctor Squatch knew what he was doing because if you wanted a pine smell, you just wet a rag or a mop and just run it across your kitchen floor or refrigerator or something to get that pine smell. They made sure that this smell was unique to cleaners or other incense. Like I said, I don't use incense or candles. I'm My first candle was the Fresh Falls in my apartment. I'm not really a candle guy. I don't know why. I mean, you know, it's just one of those things I never got into. Um, but, um, and like I said earlier in the other videos, all their lids are like etched or what do you call it? Pressed. You can feel the words in there and it has that little rubber seal that keeps the wax in place, I guess, for shipping or something. I don't know. The little hole to protect the wick. Like I said, I don't know. But this is awesome. I like how they went into... I mean, this is a big step up compared to their old peanut butter jar type candles. It's like, they were like, let's give this a shot. Hey, we're a success. Now that we're a success, let's look like success. And that's why, um, you know, that's why I like Dr. Squatch now with that candle. And I'm not saying I'm going to buy, buy three candles every month, but, uh, you know, we'll see how things go. But um, but you won't be disappointed with this candle if you get it. Um, like I said, the best way to describe the smell is a good, soft, warm, uh, fresh pine smell. smell. And it's not rough like pine saw or a pine cone or any other source of strong pine. It's doing it in a modest, soft way to let you know, hey, this is pine and I'm cheering up your apartment or living room or wherever you use it. Um, I hope you like this video. Like I said, I'm, this is totally good on the uh, pine tar. And, well, I'm starting to change my mind as we're talking. It's actually passing up the bay room. Fresh Falls will always be my favorite unless this thing burns up better. I'm about to go wash up and get ready for work. And then if my house smells great, I'll put in the comments and I'll probably make a ranking video. But this already became number two as we were talking. Number two. <laughs> Anyways, uh, um, yeah. Um, if you watched my video up to now, um, donate to me by helping somebody you know or you don't know. If they're good people with a bag of groceries. Five dollars to get to work, or a prayer, or a simple thank you, or ask how they're doing, and that let them know how hope their day's getting better. Um, being nice, you know. 
even if they're radical left Democrats or people who's wrecking our country, you know, maybe a little love might snap them out of their wokeness or NPC status. But uh, either way, um, you guys stay good, stay strong. And thank you again, Dr. Squatch, for an awesome candle. Um, I finally got it. Thumbs up. And it's already number two compared to the Fresh Falls. And that says a lot. So you guys stay safe. God bless. And pray for those who need it. Bye-bye.